Evening all. I thought I would do a little bit of a video update on what I've been doing with the uh, Smith's Maxfield tyre pump engine. It's been quite a while since I did a video, but I, I haven't done a lot of work on it. I've mostly been focusing on other projects, but just been dabbing on this as and when I get time. Right. First, one of the first things I did is made the what I hope will be the inlet valve assembly. I don't know if this will work 100%, but it's basically a non-return valve. It's made out of a plumbing fitting, a piece of brass that I turned up. Inside there's a um, tapered seat and a large ball bearing, which is held against the seat by a very light spring. Basically, as the engine draws in, it should just pull, work like an atmospheric intake valve, pull the um, ball bearing off the seat and let fuel in. I've still got to find myself the right tap to tap that hole for a spark plug. Either that or I'll put a blanking plug in and tap it for a smaller one. I don't, don't know yet. Um, I've opened out the exhaust valve port as much as I possibly can with a drill. I've tried cutting a new seat, but I haven't got the correct tools to do it, so I've, I've ordered those. Um, that will be cut and give me a lot better flow. And where it's, you can see through there, I've opened that out quite a lot as well. So it, it should breathe reasonably easily for the size of the engine. Um, I've started looking at making a valve. Uh, I don't actually know where I've put that but all it is is a slightly modified Suffolk iron foundry valve fairly small quarter inch diameter stem I just, just turn the head down very slightly so it's about the right size hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have recut that valve seat and made the final valve I only did sort of a trial one out of a, a damaged one uh, and ground that all in and everything The bit that I have been wondering how to do for a little while now is the exhaust valve cage and sort of the guide as well. The problem is the guide that's there at the moment worked fine for the original atmospheric valve that was on the compressor. But because obviously this will be a push rod operated valve, it the valve bound up quite a bit in the seat as any sideways forces on it just caused it to bind up. So what I've done so I've, I've made this, the, the bottom bit is a steel body which will just form the sort of exhaust port effectively, uh, just sits on there and I'll drill and either tap for a tube to come out for the exhaust or weld one on, um, slight little relief, relief on it there just to clear, clear down there. At the top there, what we've got is a piece of phosphor bronze, and it's then there's a hole drilled in the top of the steel part that was sort of a fairly tight fit. Pressed it in with the vice, and then peened it over a little bit. So once that is finally mounted on on there, then I'll use a drill with some kind of drill guide in to drill through the existing guide and up through this. So that should help help stop it, the valve twisting and binding up. In the bottom of the cage there's a little groove I've turned into which sits this copper washer. This ring round here, I'm going to put it on a friend's mill and just, just smooth it off so I can get a good seal hopefully with that copper washer onto there. This then sits over the whole valve cage, which eventually will sit. Let me just sit something like that. I'm going to make a little four little tabs, or probably two sort of funny shaped ones that pick up on that hole and that hole and are welded onto the cage. So the whole thing is then clamped down with this bracket 
that was mostly what I've been doing today. Um, but yeah. Also sorted the flywheel out because I was trying to work out how to do that. I bought a what I thought was a cast iron weight from Tesco's to give the flywheel some some weight to it. Unfortunately, it turns out it wasn't cast iron. They're obviously just very cheap steel that's poured into a mould, and obviously it's cooled far too quickly because it's as hard as anything. I tried turning it on the lathe, even with sort of like 05 cuts. The lathe gearbox was absolutely howling. What I took in the end to make this is the harmonic damper off a two and a half diesel Land Rover engine cut all of the inside and the rubber part out she just left me this nice cast iron ring which is quite heavy but it's turned it down it's a nice fit in the I can't get it right in at the moment it's a nice fit in the brass Villiers flywheel and we'll Paint it all up and just put some screws in through the some of the existing holes in the front. Any extra holes that I don't need will probably just be soldered up and polished back should look reasonable. Um, the other thing I've done is works on the valve timing mechanism. The I don't know how well you can see that in there. Um, let's just try turning the light on. The idler is now in place. I've made a temporary aluminium part to hold it down. I didn't go with the triangular plate idea. This is just literally, the shaft goes through there and holds it there. Um, it's free swinging and then there's this adjuster here to set sort of the backlash against the, the gear. It's just, just adjusted there so you can set how much backlash the gear has. Um, I've also made this cam for it. I've actually gone with the idea of a face cam. It was just a piece of brass I had laying around. Brass probably isn't ideal but it, it will work for a prototype. Check the idea works. These two screws will be replaced by countersinks next time I remember to order some. Cam follower is got a small bull race bearing there onto a shaft that goes up and ends up giving a rotary motion up here. Only problem with that is I've still got to work out some method of converting that rotary motion into a way of operating the valve. I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm not sure I was just going to have a, a lever coming off and pressing on the valve, but I think the the leverage that's created by that will should be too much, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. Right, I think that is that's all for this update. I'll hopefully do some more in the next few weeks and do another video for you. Thanks for watching.